Hello, my name is Rebecca. I've posted a couple videos about my bullet journal before um, and it's been a couple months so I wanted to update everybody in case you were interested, in case anybody is interested in uh, how my setup has evolved over the last couple months. So I am in this uh, Foxy Fix. It's the personal size and it's the um, Wanderlust leather. It's really great. I love it. It's like super basic but I'm really really loving being in a traveler's notebook um, it's just it's worked so perfectly for me I was at a moleskin before and I just I love this setup so much and just the leather makes me smile every time I just find myself petting it and I've owned it for a few months now I've already uh, you can see I've worn it in just a little bit there's some scuffs and it's just it's aging gorgeously so I keep it um, bound with these two elastics I, I re-strung just the jump band to be double so that it would hold uh, just a little bit snugger because I, I just I prefer to have it just a little bit more uh, securely bound and then I keep this pilot friction this is the 0.5 the Japanese import I love this pen it's just so great to be able to erase it's super convenient and I just I use it for everything in here <laughs> so let's take a look so first I'm going to show you sort of a bird's eye view of the whole setup and then I'll go into more detail so first I've got this plastic insert. It's got this card holder on one side and the zipper pocket on the other All right here. So the zipper pocket just has some stickers and stamps sort of embellishments and things and then um, This is my driver's license. I have it in backwards obviously for personal reasons Costco card library card and then on this in the back I have a couple of checks here just for convenience uh, and then these are the envelopes from our church. Uh, I actually write out the tithe check uh, a month for like the month in advance so like as May comes to a close I'm going to write all of the checks for April's tithing and then just stick those in here so that come Sunday I don't have to go oh where's the envelope it's right here and it's all ready to go to stick in the basket um, this little wallet insert I actually sewed myself it's just got a pocket on this side which is where I keep my ruler and then on the other side it has all these card holders where I keep all of my credit cards and I've got a little pocket rosary which is really cool got that from a fundraiser um, yeah some gift cards and then in the middle there's nothing in the middle except uh, this is where I keep my Walmart savings catcher uh, gift card that gets reloaded every time I have savings catcher credit so that's just handy uh, so then I've got this uh, dashboard which is this cool Harry Potter dashboard that I ordered off Etsy this insert here is my long-term collections insert so that has my uh, future log in here as well as any long-term collections that i'm keeping all year long next is my planning insert so this has my monthly so my trackers and things and then my dailies and then this one is my short-term collections insert so this has things that i don't think i'm going to keep for a whole year and then this last notebook is Bible study notes for we're doing a Bible study uh, and I like to keep those here so that I always have the notes if I have a minute to do our homework um, I have those with me wherever I go so with that context of how I keep two different um, I have two different collections inserts and then the one planning insert these three together comprise my bujo so the whole bullet journal system fits in these three separate inserts and so with that context I'll kind of show you what's in each one so I have an index for the collections inserts you can see I've got you know it's pretty standard I've got one page per month on my future log and then I'm I make a monthly resolution instead of one new year's resolution I make one new month's resolution so I have a little bit of space to plan that out to decide what I'm going to do because I usually incorporate that into my monthly spreads and then at the very end of my future log I have a 2018 page so anything that goes you know farther out than what fits on these months has a place to go so that's good uh, this is a list of things that I'm procrastinating on and so I try to pull up these and work on these um, sort of as monthly resolutions these are my craft projects as you can see I have not been making uh, a lot of project a lot of progress in these 
And I actually have a crafting focus as one of my monthly resolutions to do sometime soon. This summer probably I'll see if I can maybe get one or two of these checked off. Uh, to read, to listen, like podcasts, to watch TV and movies, and to play video games. Um, you can you can see some of these I am better at than others. I'm not great at reading. This is my uh, sa or the debt payment tracker and the savings tracker. We're doing pretty good on our emergency fund, paying down some of our student debt. So this is fantastic and it's very motivating to see those color bars filled up as uh, every time we pay 500 towards one of these, uh, it gets another line filled in. Uh, this is a wish list of things that I want to get for myself, but just haven't decided to spend the money on yet. Date night ideas and ooh, gift ideas for my husband who let's be honest probably not watching this video but uh this is a cycle tracker just to keep track of the start date of every cycle and how long they last um we keep more details on our nfp charts but this is just so i know this was the longest cycle in the last year and this is the shortest that's important for some of the symptothermal rules it's a sticker i got from comic-con <laughs> this is so nerdy but i'm super proud of this this is my wash your bra spread I, um, I just own three bras that I rotate through mostly, and so there's the pink one, the nude one, and the blue one, and so the rule is never wear the same bra more than two days in a row, and wash your bra every three to six uses. Basically it's every six uses. So as you see here, like, I wore the blue bra starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the, the line here means that I washed it uh, between like on Wednesday. I washed it on Wednesday. Ooh. And so this is how I keep track of how many times and which bra I've worn because otherwise I know I would never ever wash them and I would wear the same one over and over and over again until the elastic wore out and hopefully they will last longer this way. Um, it, it's so nerdy but <laughs> I, I think it's super useful. Uh, these are just the topics for our confirmation class that we teach. This is a collection of quotes from my very favorite band, They Might Be Giants. It just, it makes me smile when I read these. And then this is for, I don't want to show too much here. Um, if you're on my Hogwarts, if you know me from myhogwarts.com, then uh, you'll know what WYSIWYG is. It's basically the after Hogwarts uh, continuing education program. And I'm in charge of it. So I, uh, just keep track of the courses there and you know what whether they're ready to go whether they have lessons written or whether i need to follow up with somebody on something the last time i was in contact with the professor and then that's all i have in here i pretty much keep this pretty empty i don't use these pages very much because i don't have that many of them and i really want to save them for things that i'm going to use all year things that i don't want to have to migrate every couple of months as I fill up a collections insert. And to be fair, like there's not that many things that I'm gonna need for that long of a time. These uh, shopping list stick, uh, post-it notes are from Mochi Things and unfortunately it's not sticking very well. I'm gonna have to use the bottom one next time I need to go shopping. <clears throat> These are also from Mochi Things. They stick a lot better because actually the adhesive goes all the way down to like here. So more than half of it is sticky, which is fantastic. So I, uh, yeah, this is just sort of the collections that stay there and I'm planning to keep this insert in here for the rest of the year. Um, and to not have to switch it out at all. And that's why I have this uh, dashboard around it. It's really annoying me. That's why I have this dashboard around it just to keep it, um, the cover safe from getting caught on the zipper or anything else getting sort of scuffed. Mm. I'm going to skip the planning insert right now and show you next the short-term collections. <clears throat> this was the first insert I had in here January, February. It's actually a little bit smaller. And so it had originally my They Might Be Giants quotes were in here. I migrated those because I wanted to keep them. Uh, this was a talk I was giving, some journaling, prayer intentions, uh, a duel on my Hogwarts that I was refereeing. A list of to do's on MH, uh, the podcast I edit for my Hogwarts, <laughs> the interview questions for the podcast for my Hogwarts, a shopping list, meal planning. 
this is where it started to get a little bit messy and it's fantastic that it was allowed to get messy. Um, I was doing Incorimo and this is just a list of people like, oh, I should write them. That's where you write a letter to everybody in February, one per day. And I just, it was fun. It was difficult. It was worth it. I'd put my packing lists in here, more meal planning. Uh, this was the notes I took as I was designing the um, wallet insert. Journal to myself to keep myself motivated because I was not feeling well that day, but I was able to motivate myself. Here is teaching myself a little German on Duolingo, took some notes. Menu planning. This is where I started on the what turned into the WizU course spread. Some notes because I was uh, I'm the astronomy teacher in my Hogwarts, and so these are some notes I was uh, rewriting some lessons. These are some videos I wanted to make for YouTube. The crochet series of YouTube videos that I just finished. And another shopping list, and then that's it. I finished this up in two months and then decided I needed more pages. So the next insert that I put for my short-term collections has more pages, better paper, this is how far I am so far. My Hogwarts to do's, YouTube videos, same kinds of things. Like some of the collections from this insert, I migrated forward into this insert. Others I like scheduled back into the long-term insert and others I didn't need at all. So I just got rid of them. So these are more notes on German, more notes on astronomy. Uh, I was playing abduction, took some notes on the number system there because I'm a nerd. Uh, that checklist of things I needed to print for taxes, prayer intentions. Um, these are project next steps, just sort of for the projects that I'm working on. I, I just kind of keep a list of like, for example, I just did that. So I know what's on the horizon. And so I can kind of plan out when uh, the different things get done. If that makes sense, this probably doesn't make sense, but it's sort of one kind of a brain dump page for my upcoming projects. Uh, this, I haven't really done much with this spread. This is a correspondence spread. These are the friends I want to keep in touch with. This is the last time I got in touch with them and how. And. Um, I, I like the idea of this spread. I like the idea of keeping in touch with my friends because I'm terrible at that. But I'm not sure um, a, a really good way to incorporate this into planning um, so that I actually go back and, because it looked like the last time I wrote to Ruth was in February. Her birthday's coming up in a few weeks, so I'll definitely write to her again. But, you know, I'm gonna forget people and it's gonna go months and months and I haven't talked to them. And even though I have a spread here, if it's not getting used, it's not doing much good. Same with this house projects. I was making a massive brain dump and I needed somewhere to put all of these house projects. So they're on their own spread, but it's never getting looked at. So I have to figure out a way to make that work. This is the chess, uh, wizard's chess cup on MH. I was just keeping track of which matches I had started. And this is that massive brain dump that I was talking about. I just spit out my, my brain onto two pages. Uh, I was playing Shard Light, and this was some notes I took on that. Uh, this was for the confirmation class we teach. I had to answer some questions about women priests. And these are This is where I wrote the pattern for the crochet series that I just finished. And these are some notes on the episode as I was filming it. Actually, as I'm filming this right now, I just finished filming that episode. Two different packing lists for two consecutive weekends. Uh, and then these next four pages are a talk I gave at the conference. I'm not going to show that because anyone who's on my Hogwarts with me and is playing this game of Clue uh, should not be able to see my notes because we're not done with that. Uh, these are some, just a couple quick notes that I took as I was copying down a skirt that I wanted to remake. This is a cycle slash mood tracker. So like these are not dates these are the days of my cycle so this cycle started on april 14th day one was april 14th 
And then these are the different moods I felt on different days. I was trying to get a feel, or I still am, I guess, trying to get a feel of how my energy levels and mood kind of fluctuate with hormones over the course of the month. Um, I, when I redo this in a new insert, I'm definitely going to change the colors because these are just kind of, the colors are just there. Um, I think I want it to be more of a gradient so I can see at a glance how things go. Um, I also, I'm not sure that I'm doing a really good job of deciding whether I'm happy or content or, you know, quiet in a given day, but it's, it's interesting and it gets me thinking and I think that's good. Another podcast episode. This is, um, notes for one of our confirmation classes. It was sponsor night and I was doing a whole bunch of activities and then more astronomy notes. So I have just a few more pages. Oh no, I do. I'm learning. My husband is from the Philippines and his family speaks Ilongo and I have been putting off learning it. So these are some notes that I'm taking and I'm going to try to, or I am currently trying to work on it just a little bit every day. So hopefully eventually I'll be able to understand what they're talking about without having to ask them to translate. And then this is eventually going to be a list of tips to make into an, a video about Bujo and then uh, I'm packing tomorrow to go on our anniversary weekend this weekend. Um, and I haven't really started yet, but I just looked up the weather. This is how I do my packing lists is I, you know, put packing list, put the weather, the high and the low over the course of however long it's going to be, how many days and nights and where it is. And then I just put everything in different categories. And then that is everything I have in here, I think, except for the very last page is just some sort of scratch paper. I didn't feel like making a whole spread just for like this much. So I just threw it on there. So I have just a few more pages left. Careful. I have this insert that I got off Etsy. This is actually a Tomoe River paper insert. So it's super thin and it has like 90 something pages. So it should not last me a really good long time and not take up that much space at all. I think it's probably about as, yeah, it might be even be thinner than the current insert, which only has 52 pages. So it's like twice as many pages in even less the size. So really looking forward to that. I should be able to hang on to this for much longer. This first insert lasted me two months and then this one lasted me March, April, May. Yeah, three months for this one. So this one might last me, I don't know, six months, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to using this paper because I've never used it before. All right. So that's all my collections. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was sort of the evolution of my planning process over the months in here. I keep one month, I use one insert per month. So it keeps everything kind of compartmentalized and I sort of switch things up as I see fit uh, at the end of each month. So this was the very first month, January. I put in a little coloring page and I did the standard you know, days along here and then to do's here. The only thing that's different from like the original writer method is that I just put a line between each week and then this is the to-do list for that week. So anything that I write here, I don't have to worry about until the third week. Anything that's not done by here, I still do. It worked pretty well for me. Eventually it started to feel like a little bit too little space, but it worked for well for a while it did. Um, this page is pretty much the same every month. This is my 4G tracker. It shows me how much of my high-speed data I've used on my phone plan. This is my debit card tracker. It shows me how many transactions on our debit card because we have to make 10 debit card transactions per month in order to get a higher interest rate. In order to get a higher interest rate, we have to make 10 uh, debit card transactions per month. Uh, this is a habit tracker and then projects for that month. And then I have here this, uh, this is a sort of, this is a quality tracker. So this is how much I slept, how well I felt health wise, how much I got done, how relaxed I was and how in tune I was like with my faith life. And these are just dailies. I was really into just the monthly and the dailies. I didn't have any weekly pages at all. So these all look pretty much the same. And I was really enjoying the minimalism. I think it was a nice New Year's thing. 
Then at the very end, I put just a quote, my last day, uh, daily, and some journaling about how I felt the month went, uh, planning-wise. February. Not a lot changed. <clears throat> so month, same weekly to-do lists, same tracker, same checklist. Uh, this page is just all of my Inko Rymo, who I wrote to, and then the day I actually wrote to them. I did write to Marie on the 28th. I just never wrote it there. And then this month I adapted this uh, quality tracker to also be a quantity tracker at the same time. So if the, in this case, like I got four out of five for sleep and I also made the bed. So it's this long and I filled it in. Four out of five health and I also took my vitamins. So I filled that in. So that's how that goes. It was, uh, Make the bed, take your vitamin, do some sort of chore. Um, this was for Inko Rymo. It's like my, my monthly goal. And then uh, bedtime prayers. But other than that, and the fact that I threw in a couple more quotes, and these are more, they might be giant quotes, by the way. Um, everything is pretty much the same, just dailies. And yeah, more uh, journaling about how the month went. And then I actually, oh yeah. This here was just a test of what I wanted March's layout to look like. And so what I actually did, same monthly layout, exactly the same. Same here, uh, this the project for that month was to film all of those crochet, learn to crochet videos. Did get that done mostly. And so I actually gave myself one page per day. So I have the same exact tracker. My schedule for the day is up top. My top three, like top three things to get done that day are here, one, two, three. And then things to do with the office, things to do at home. And then there's a little bit room of room at the bottom to, uh, you know, take notes or sort of comment on the day. And then the weekend was two pages on the same day. Uh, same here, same thing really. Use a sticker. Oh my goodness. And I actually am using a time ladder just for the weekends because, did I do that the week before? No, I didn't. This is where I started that. Um, I like having a time ladder just on the weekends. During the week, it's the same schedule every day. I go to work, I come home, I go to work, I come home. It's the same. And so I know that everything that I have under the to get done at home section has to be done either during my lunch break or in the morning or in the evening. And so it's just sort of a, a clump. Whereas during the weekend, I find that if I have just a to-do list, then I go, oh, well, I have these five things to do today. But what's to say I can't play some video games before I get started on that? And then it gets to be 4 p.m., which is sort of my time to go, oh my goodness, it's evening, what happened? And I haven't gotten anything done yet. So if I lay things out, even if I don't have to get them done at a certain time, just knowing that, look, I'm this far through the day and none of these things have gotten done yet, I really need to work on that, kind of helps me. <laughs> this was not a great day. I think I was just really tired. All pretty much the same and since I have the whole one page per day I know exactly how many pages I need so that's helpful then starting April I actually switched things up quite a lot I actually made myself my own printable so here's like my monthly I switched to a calendar format so I'm trying that out it's working pretty well for me um, I have a pull out weekly to-do list it's the same weekly to-do list um, you know, split up by week. It's just on the left side. And then it actually can go there and I can 
pull things over to my dailies. Uh, I didn't have any like big monthly spreads, just the normal everyday stuff. My one project for the month was able to fit here. So I've got, you know, the same weekend stuff, but it's all set up. So I'm like, here's the box where all the, uh, the time ladder goes. Here's the box where the tracker goes and everything else is a grid. So everything is uh, predetermined spaces. So it made it easier if I'm say, it's Tuesday and I'm like, oh, I really need to get that thing done on Thursday. Then I can just write it here without having to like trace out everything for the day first. It's Easter. And it's pretty, like I don't decorate that often in here. little doodling not fantastic but there it is oh and then uh, at the end of the month I knew that we were gonna have this trip so I actually set aside my space for a packing list on this page here and so uh, I have like all of Fridays this big long time ladder Saturday Sunday same thing because I had some extra pages I needed to fill and then that brings us to May here we are in May it's our current month so this is the insert I'm in right now have just the, the monthly grid same idea I'm pretty much things are pretty similar to how they were last month set up wise I have uh, yeah, this page is the same I'm doing this hashtag journey to split stretching exercises um, it's a setup where you do these five foundational stretches every day and then one of these and so I'm keeping track of the stretches as I do them and I am not going to get to splits by the end of the month because I am so, so inflexible. But I am making a little bit of progress and that feels good. So um, this is the morning prayer I pray, my sort of morning routine, which I never follow, but it's there as an ideal. It's there as a goal to reach towards. This is a general all month to-do list. And then I actually have my weekly to-do lists on a weekly overview page. So I have events here, to-do lists here, and then the dailies start here. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, May the 4th. And then I have the weekend over two pages instead of one. And then you'll see I have, I got rid of the quality tracker altogether. I'm just doing the shapes as a, a binary or a, a boolean tracker. This is where I'm taking note of my different uh, NFP sensations and things because otherwise I forget to tell my husband to mark it on the chart. This is where I mark the actual color of my bra instead of having to go back here every single day to fill out which bra I'm wearing in my chart. I only go back here every like two or three days and I just write it here until I can remember to fill it in later. And then this is my mood, which I then fill in my mood tracker every few days as well. So this way I don't have to fill in my monthly trackers every single day. Um, and it just, it gives me a place to keep that so I don't lose that information. Here's the next week, to-do lists. I started to decorate a little bit this week, just a tiny little bit of washi tape and a couple stickers, but just filling in some of that space, um, leaving spaces between to-do items, it doesn't always mean something. Sometimes I just kind of group things that do have to do with each other, but then sometimes I don't. And it's just, it takes up a little bit more space vertically so the page feels a little bit less empty. You can hear our husky whining. That's what that sound is. He's a silly little dog. He begged to be let in and now he wants to get out. So, uh, yeah, and this is where we are right now. This is the date that I'm filming this. And so we have, uh, this is our weekend trip. We're taking the train up to Santa Barbara. It's going to be awesome. And then next week I already have a couple things written to d get done. And then, uh, you know, the whole rest of the month is in here. So things have evolved just a little bit. Um, I'm finding, I think next month, 
I might actually go to even less structure in here, just have space for all this, and maybe space for the things up here, but to have this a little bit different, just to kind of encourage myself to decorate, to get a little bit more creative with my layouts um, while still having a dedicated space for each day so I don't have to feel like I don't have to decorate if I don't want to. Um, generally speaking, I mean, I really love this format. I love that I can fill up the, um, I can fill up pages in here without having to worry about using up too much space in this notebook. Um, I don't have to worry about losing any of this in between my dailies or my dailies taking up too much space and using up this book. It's just really fantastic having it all separate and even having the opportunity to stick other things in here. I had a separate insert just for Lenten um, journey, journaling. I was doing some journaling during Lent. Oh yeah, I actually want to show this to you too. I had uh, this tracker where I wanted to make 40 different sacrifices during Lent. So I used my uh, friction pen to draw uh, 40 thorns on the crown of thorns. And then every time I made a sacrifice, I wrote it down and I erased one of the thorns. And then at the end of Easter, I drew flowers over them. So that was cool. But yeah, so this is my whole planner setup. I keep this with me at all times, obviously, because it's my wallet as well. And I just, I, I love it so much. I love this leather. I love having everything together. And I just, I really do advocate if you're at all interested, if you're considering getting a traveler's notebook for your bullet journal, I think it's a fantastic system and I just really love using it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful at all. Sorry, it's so long, but I just wanted to go through my whole evolution over the last four and a half months. Uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in more of these kinds of videos. Like the video if you like my planner videos so I know to make more. And I will see you guys.